In the summer night, a phenomenon occurred where the shooting stars from the universe gave birth to a cosmic egg, a gleaming beacon of creation in the bridge of Nanshapur Park, enclosing a shell as a result of the dynamic balance of its different forces. In and Yang, where the universe is governed by a cosmic duality, sets of two opposing and complementing principles or cosmic energies that can be observed in nature. It is a principle that explains or represents the duality of things. In Chinese mythology, Yin Yang was born from the idea that two completely opposite cosmic forces in the universe, chaos and order, existed harmoniously together. The achievement of balance in the cosmic egg during the creation of Yin Yang allowed for the birth of Pan Gu, the first human. The prominent structure is first transformed from the image of Yin Yang with the idea of two separate but spiritually connected entities forming the half corridor. The skeletal force of chaos is first formed on the in and out. The skeletal force of the orderliness comes after and forms the visual harmonization. The harmonization of the skeleton structures brings forth the final skeletal structure that balances all things, and together, the water reflection brings the full image to life where one cannot exist without the other. Finally, the creation of a new symbol and fabrication in the form of the half corridor is achieved ultimately leading to the birth of a new life in the cosmic egg, linking back to the story through the opening on top of the structure. Heng aspires to amplify the dichotomy of duality between human and nature, whilst establishing a harmonious dialogue between both. Heng accentuates of detachment with nature, hence aims to lead us grounded. Coinciding with nature, the water reflection completes the pavilion, signifying the balance between spirit and matter. The accentuation of light that shines from the water reflection shows the proof of the existence of life forms underwater. It imitates and unveils the life below and above, what we can and can't see, what we can and can't touch, striking a balance between both, forming a complete relation between nature and Nanshabad Park, humans and waterfalls. The half corridor sits into the side like a portrait, capturing the accents and character of Nanshabad Park. In this case of the birds and humans, their unique solitary nature requires two similar yet separate habitats. Heng provides a platform where both species can reside and coexist within a close vicinity. Humans and nature are opposite but are consistently united. Users activate the half corridor by moving through it to experience the amalgamation of two different entities, built form and nature. Finally, we represent to you Heng Eternal Balance, a capture of the paradox and harmonious dialogue between human and nature in Nanshan Bird Park.